So many keepers um, would describe bearded dragons as semi-arboreal. Would you agree with that distinction? Yes. Yes. So the numbers that we've... They want to sit on top of a bush. Males, uh, you know, we've found them two to three metres up a tree. Um, we found a female on the ground, went for a toilet break in the bushes and then looked up on the tree we were urinating on and it's, there's a male bearded dragon sitting on the side of the tree. Um, they want that height there. Um, and it's not, especially males, females, we'll see females occasionally on a bush or something like that, um, but we see them escape the bushes of many females that I've gone to go catch and have jumped up a tree as an escape route from predators. So, um, there, yeah, but males definitely use high basking spot. There's plenty of photos, um, on the internet showing male bearded dragons high up in the point, and that's a need to survey and look over the territory and to be visible. So that's an instinct there. Um, so, and there's been a chase. There was one bearded dragon. And he was on a plane, a uh, flat plane, and there wasn't a tree for 50 meters. And I thought, here we go. Here's an easy bearded dragon for my study to bleed. I jumped out the car and he ran to that tree 50 meters away and climbed it. That tree was 30 meters high and he climbed to the top of it as an escape route. They can climb. They're well equipped to climb and we do see them climb. So having a climbing area for them to survey from um they will use it if you provide it they'll use it the clip you've just watched is just a snippet of a larger podcast episode where we had bearded bear on the podcast if you want to find the full podcast episode you can find that up here or if you want to carry on looking through the bearded bear explained series you can find the rest of it down here